Hi guys, this is Prompt Engineer and in this video, we are going to use GPT Engineer to build an interesting project. So let's move on. First of all, let's take a folder where we are going to work. So let me select this folder, which is DPE74ENG. I copy the location of this folder using Ctrl C and then I go to Visual Studio Code and open up the folder. File, open full folder and select the folder. Next, we are going to open up a terminal, new terminal make some space and then we are going to go to the repository click on code copy the repo <clears throat> then head back to vs code type in git clone paste in the repository press enter so it will clone everything here next we are going to change the working directory to gpt engineer which is the folder which is created just now press enter Next, we are going to install the requirements. The, how to install this? We install it by typing pip, install, read the requirements, txt, install everything that is required. We have five packages here, so everything is installed. And clear this. Next, we head to the GPT engineer folder and the main file here. Here, we're going to type import the open AI. And then we have to add the API keys. So we type open. We head over to platform.openai.com, click here, write something here, create secret key, copy the secret key, move back to VS Code, paste in the key, control S, and close. <clears throat> so this step is common for everything. So we have our requirements installed here. We have configured the API key under the main.py main file here. And now we are ready to use this very system. Now we have an example folder here, which gives us the main prompt. So the example of the prompt is something like this. Okay, now let's start with the machine learning project. So this is uh, what I thought would be a good example to show you regression uh, with a crap age data set. So here we have a train test and sample submission. I just downloaded the train data set here age is the target age is the target so i downloaded the data set and i created a new folder known as data and inside data i uploaded this train.csv here if you'll see we have id we have sex length diameter height weight shocked weight viscera weight shell weight and age so this is our target variable this is what we want our models to predict so this is the training data and using this data machine learning models will be trained and the accuracy of that will be accuracy of the models will be obtained so this is our working data which i pasted here next we created a new folder known as crab age and inside this folder i've written a prompt inside the main prompt and the prompt is like this we're going to analyze a data set in the path dot dot slash dot slash data train dot csv so we specify that the data set is available here and this is the data set the structure of the data is given in the file in the path described dot txt so the structure of this data set is described in the described dot txt and how did i create the described dot txt i created a new python file known as describe.py here what we did was we import pandas we read the train.csv then we write the description df.description describe so we save that into df and we write that description in the text file let us look at the description so description is just a count mean standard deviation min and the quartiles here and we have all the columns here on the columns as usual the columns so i think we don't have any missing data yes we don't have any missing data but this is the description of the data so this is what we give the prompt to understand that train.csv is the data and this is the description of the data and now your task is to set up a machine learning pipeline using scikit-learn to create and compare five machine learning models that can predict the age, target, variable of the dataset. 
and determine based on the column names which columns are relevant to put into the model and what features to transform or engineer. Now evaluate the results using R2 and RMSE. And save the files in separate Python files as applicable, think step by step. Test case is not required, you can start the project in a single shot. So when we save this prompt and then we run this, so how do you run? So for running this code, we had to type, we have to type Python dash M GPT engineer. So we are somewhere here and then dot main. So we are running this main file and crab age. So the prompt that we will have is from the crab age. So we are working with the main prompt here. This is the main prompt. So when we run this, we uh, see these that model for uh, GPT-4 is not available uh, for provided API key reverting to GPT-3.5 Turbo. The model will take in a data set in the CSV format and form it and perform machine learning tasks on the data to predict the age target variable. The model will use scikit-learn to create five different machine learning models and compare their R squares and RMSC scores. So you know that higher the R square, the better is the model. The lower the RMSC score, the better is the model. The program will output the R square and RMSC errors for each model, as we will, as will as well as a plot comparing the predicted values to the actual target values. So features importing the data set in a CSV format, cleaning and transforming data is necessary, splitting the data into training and testing sets, creating five machine learning models comparing the R2 and RMSC, outputting the R2 and RMSC, outputting a plot comparing the predicted values to the actual age values. The core classes dataset, a class representing the dataset to be analyzed. It will have methods for importing, cleaning, transforming and splitting the data. Models, a class representing the machine learning models. It will have methods for cleaning, training and testing the models. Evaluation, a class representing the evaluation met matrices R square and RMSC for the models. It will have methods for calculating and outputting the scores. Visualization, a class representing the program's visualization features. It will have methods for outputting a plot, comparing the predicted values, age values to the actual age values. Non-standard de uh, dependen uh, dependencies, scikit-learn, a machine learning library for Python, matplotlib, a plotting library for Python. Here are some of the some of the tests that will cover the functionalities so these are the test and this is the code that has been created this class represents the data set to be analyzed so import this we're importing different classes we have created this model.py so this is the model.py this is the evaluation.py so this is the code for evaluation this is the code for visualization of the code this is the code for entry point which is the main file here so we're going to run the entry point.py and then it tried to install the dependencies for me and to run the entry point.py or the main file as well but it failed uh, to install the dependencies but it's okay i did it myself but this is where the code ended and next we then try to run the entry point.py we got a few errors and one of the error uh, actually i took these errors and put it into chat uh to get the solution of the error and ultimately i was able to solve everything so the first error that we got was that when i said that this can predict the age target variable so i used a small caps for a but if you look at the data the data has capital a for the age so that was one issue that was the problem so i changed the code to age so the changes that I did was somewhere here, somewhere in the dataset. Yes, here it was a small a, so I changed this to capital A. Another problem was, another error that occurred was the okay in the dataset. Uh, here, the data set, uh, it was given in the form of this prompt. So this was the entry, uh, no, this, I you know, dot, 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 slash and dot, dot, slash. So everything was entered here, but what we require is just data slash train dot CSV. So it was unable to read the CSV file and this error was cleaned. 
uh, this error was uh, you know uh, overcome so i think that were the two errors that was obtained so now when we run the model we would see that these are the five r squares and rmsc errors for the models now what are the models that were run so the models that were tested were linear regression decision tree random forest support vector machines and neural network mind you that i have not given any input with regards to the the name of the models that the code should test so it did everything by itself so it tested it selected these five models now the output of age is this so linear regression is 0.56 decision tree is we are looking at the r square score so the the higher the r score the better so the r square is about this is a negative r square so the r square i think is good for this model the third model so r square is good for random forest and rmsc we need a lower rmsc rmsc is lower for this yes rmsc is lower for this so the best model for this data set is the random forest regressor model so uh, yeah this is uh, some sort of an output uh, that you can get by running this model and you know these uh, models were created so easily you just need to make sure that you're using a good prompt and making the model or making the machine the the you know large language models understand your requirement very clearly this is uh, a project for code generation uh, and as we know that gpt engineer won't work for other type of prompts but this is for the code generation only but i was uh, i'm very happy that this much code is being generated with just uh, this single uh, simple prompts let's look at the cost that we have incurred for running this model now i have a gpt 3.5 let's go back to the usage let's refresh the usage so it's about 0 0.3 0 0.03 dollars it's very minimal i've been using this for three days and the cost are very less I've been running gpt engineer left and right and so many models but you know the cost is very cheap you can just go for the 3.5 turbo and this should give you the output now what i have observed in the gpt 3.5 is that these python files you need to create manually as all output.txt this is the file that will host every python file so you need to for example dataset.py you need to copy this from this location till this point so you need to copy this to the dataset.py and you need to copy the model.py code starting from here to here you need to put in the model so you need some manual a little bit of manual labor but comparing to the labor comparing to the the time and effort of writing this many codes i think this is a pretty good deal so please take the subscription for gpt 3.5 at least and then you can get such kind of amazing results now let me run this again so in order to run this we need to go to this entry point and just run this so we started running this it will output the r square so this is the first model so the first model was our linear regression so this is the linear regression this is the actual age on the x-axis this is the predicted age so i'm just put in for the thumbnail so this is the actual age and this is the predicted age okay then we print out the r square and the rmsc score so i'm just gonna close this this is pretty fast for my system and uh, we have the decision tree now so the decision tree this is actual and the predicted age close this next we move on to the random forest regressor so the fastest is the i think the linear regressor then the neural network then the decision tree and then we have random forest and then we have the support vector machines which is takes the most amount of time to run so i have run this already so i'm just going to attach the running video of this so this is the third one this is the random forest so we close this and this is the support vector machine and this is the neural network so this completes the code let me know in the comment section what you think about this code and what sort of projects that you have undertaken and run with this code this is 
again the GPT engineer and it is getting a lot of attention it is gaining a lot of use cases because it is so easier to you know print out codes based on these simple steps of course you would need an API key with the GPT-4 access but GPT number or GPT 3.5 turbo would do now as you see you have newer models which uh, has come up and the GPT 3.5 we have turbo you can use GPT 3.5 turbo 16k tokens or you can use this one which came on 13th of, uh, 13th of June this year with 16k tokens so everything is fine you can use you can try different cases you know this is this project is for fun purposes only but I have other serious projects that uh, that will definitely help my work and uh, in my business so I think that's all that's everything that I have to say like this video and this channel in particular please subscribe to the channel I will see you next time